Well, Christmas time in my kitchen always means the stove here is running hot, if you'll pardon the pun. But this year, the heat is off, so to speak, because as Tara and Rebecca told you, we've decided to go tropical for a change. Balinese-inspired, to be exact. Now, if you're organised, the lunch I've planned is a breeze to put on. Lots of different dishes, which will be just gorgeous together. I don't have time to show you how to make all of them, just a few of my favourites. But the recipes will be on the website as usual, or in a special supplement in the December issue of House and Garden. Okay? Right, first up, snapper. All three kilos of it, scaled and gutted by the fishmonger, not me. It's going to be cooked in these banana leaves, which I'm arranging so that they overlap. They'll steam our fish beautifully. Then into the cavity, put some chopped up ginger, a piece about the size of your thumb. Put in the same amount of lemongrass, also chopped, as well as four lime leaves and half a bunch of coriander. Wrap it all up nice and tight and tie together with some string. Well, that's the main part of the meal prepared. We're going to barbecue this. The banana leaves will not only keep the fish moist, but it'll stop it burning or catching, which would probably happen if we used foil. Now, the next thing to get together is a crab and chilli salad, which we're going to have as a nibbly. So that's 250 grams of cooked crab meat. Add to that three finely chopped chilies, an echelot, two chopped up spring onions, half a cup of mint leaves, and a quarter of a cup of coriander leaves. Then squeeze the juice of a lime and add a tablespoon each of fish and soy sauce. Stir them, then drizzle over the salad. And then toss. We're serving a spoonful in a Whitliff leaf. Absolutely delicious, this. Last on my list of favourites is one of the three salads we're serving, a bean salad, for which I'm using cannellini beans, but if you like, you could use butter beans. There's three tins here, which I've rinsed and drained. Then into the blender, put two cloves of garlic, 100 mils of olive oil, half a cup each of basil and parsley leaves, the juice of a lemon, a teaspoon of cumin, and some salt and pepper. Blend for just a few seconds. You want a little bit of texture. Pour your dressing over the beans and toss it through. Leave it at room temperature before serving rather than in the fridge. And that's that. Pack it all up and you're ready to go. I can't believe how organised I am. Now, as for the other dishes, you're just going to have to wait and see. But remember, the entire lunch is transportable. So if you're planning something similar at an exotic location not far from home, you can take all this with you. Might see you there, eh? You don't have sunscreen on? No, 30 plus. Absolutely. Aha, uh -huh, my gorgeous comrades. At last, pre-luncheon drinks. Now, we have a choice of beverages, Campari and Orange. Bex, like me, thank you. One of my favourites. Mm. And for those who are too young and likely to get too excited, <laughs> some iced tea, Tara. Thank you, Reggie. <laughs> Reg, you're a gem. Cheers. Mm. Wonderful. Mm. Cheers. And now, lunch is served. Wow, Reg. Oh, yum. There's quite a spread ahead of us. You mean this isn't it? No, no, no. These are just little things to whet our appetites oh. before the main event. Mm. I'll tell you what they are. Mm. On Whitliff leaves, we have a crab salad. Here we have a mango salad, which you can serve on top of the hockey noodles. Mm. And all of these dishes have various combinations of chilli and ginger and garlic and mint and basil. And lime. Oh, all those Asian spices. Lots of lime juice. Mm. Lots of, and there we have the salt and chilli prawns. So they're rolled in chilli powder and Australian peppermint myrtle salt. Oh, how exotic. They look so beautiful. Oh, they well are. Done. <laughs> and all these recipes, of course, are available in the latest edition of the House and Garden magazine. Too right. Now, you know, those of us who work together on our house are always expecting our friend Sheryl to walk through the door at any moment. So just in case he does, we've set a place for him. Mm. To absent friends, eh? Yeah. Absent friends. Have a wonderful Christmas and we'll look forward to seeing you next year. Cheers. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas. To Shell. To Shell. <laughs>